What's up? This is Twin, and I am here today. Ah, oh, shoot. I took your name, huh? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Sorry. This is Twinka, and I'm here today with Twin. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <That's no worry. laughs> whatever so the movie to um the movie we're going over um today is red dot on um netflix all right red dot was whack it, red dot was interesting i mean it, it has some interesting points but to me the movie all around was whack it's a one and done yeah like uh you're not watching that again bro yeah so all right, so let's start off. We got a couple questions from some main points that happened during the movie. Uh, have you ever been proposed to? <laughs> and if you did, how? I've been proposed to a lot. I'm like, Thorne, what are you just collecting these rings out here? That is not Thor. That is Thanos. Oh, oh well, whatever. Oh my Whoever God. his good guy that is, is. That is blasphemy. And he's not a good guy. He's a villain. <laughs> Oh, is he? Don't you? Don't. Oh, my God. Uh, That's blasphemy. Well, whatever. But I have, I've been proposed to a lot. Um, and it's all it's all different ways. I think I guess I can give you the latest one. All right. <laughs> that is not right. crazy. It sounds horrible. The latest. <sighs> yes. It so yeah. the latest one. Um... <laughs> That's also messed up, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, it sounds horrible, but okay, okay. Anyways, so we, so okay, guys, take note. All right, I want y'all to listen. Get your papers out. Oh, this must be good. Oh, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Get y'all papers out, okay? Y'all ready? It better be good. Okay, so now I like Italian food. So if you want to take me out on a date, oh, a nice Italian restaurant works. So in this case, we went out to. um I don't even know what kind of restaurant it was, but it did have Italian food there. It might have been Italian. <laughs> they had Italian food. I'm pretty sure it was Italian restaurant. Or they could just have spaghetti and noodles, you oh, know? Oh, like, my God. You get Roman noodles and some sauce for you. Hey, hey look. Straight. If they got marinara sauce, it's Italian. Man, you... so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying. But we went to this restaurant, and um, so we ate or whatever. Um... And he had ordered like a, a drink or whatever, like a wine, a bottle of wine or whatever. So the lady came out uh, with the wine. Well, she had the glasses. Um, she gave him his glass. And in my glass, there was the wedding ring. The, well, the engagement ring inside the, the glass of wine. So, you know, that's how he wanted to propose that way, you know, to get on his knee in front of all these people in this restaurant. But yeah. I don't like surprises. So... Fellas, I, I hope you still got your pen and paper out. I don't like surprises. Oh so you got to brief me if you want to surprise me, okay? That, Let me kind of have an idea of what's going on because I'm telling you, me and surprises don't work, honey. But that's weird. I mean, I, I'm really not a big fan of the wedding ring in the like the wine glass or the champagne glass or something like that. Because what if she drank it and chokes it down <laughs> right in front of you? You know, I'm a worst case scenario guy. Like, and that is a worst case scenario. Like, she could she could not see, not be paying attention. You be making her laugh, and she's like, ah, ha, ha, and start drinking it, <laughs> ah, ah. and it's over, bro. She just died because you put a ring in her glass. Man, I just like I just prefer. It. I mean, I guess it was a romantic gesture, sure, but again, I wish. I had more of an idea that that was happening because it was like, to me, it was a little bit embarrassing because it's like, I feel pressure now. Like, do I say no in front of people looking at us? Damn, you were going to say no? Like, there's a whole scene of people. So it's like, I have no choice but to be nice. Like, you can't, don't do that to people, yo. Don't do that to people. Yeah, that's rough. It is. That's rough, yeah, especially you gonna tell the man no. Because my thing, it was too soon. It's like, yo, slow down, slow down. Like, I don't know. You got people want to marry you after a couple of weeks. Oh, girl, boy, let me tell you something, boy. I, fellas, I hope y'all still got y'all pen and paper out. <sighs> let me tell you. So, I am very nice. I like walking from my bedroom to the kitchen <laughs> like i enjoy sweet red wine like i'm the most simplest person like i'm a very good person so yes fellas 
they want to, you know, put a ring on it. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> what about you? I never proposed to anybody. Never. Why? Never. never you mean play around. for life? No, uh, no, nah, nah, just never, never got around to the chance. The closest I ever got, I was talking about talking to my girlfriend after what it was like three years, three and a half years about getting married, and she was like, "You could do better." And I felt like that's an easy way to let me down. But I guess she ain't felt like I ain't like I ain't really feel like that, you know? What? Like you didn't really want to marry her? Yeah. She that I mean, she ain't no like. She really told me she feel like like I didn't feel like that. I was just in the moment. Cause at the time I had just got out of basic training, right? And I guess she knew other people that married soldiers and stuff like that. And she was trying to figure out why all dudes that just got out of basic training come home and want to marry their girlfriends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I tried to explain to her, like, I I kind of realized how much I care about you and I miss you this whole time. I've only been gone 10 weeks and I, I miss you. You know what I'm saying? I really got these feelings for you. I love you and all this mm-hmm. and all that. You know, I did the whole little spill. And she kind of just didn't believe it, you know? So, so like, you the wanna... rest of those years didn't mean nothing to her? I guess not. Hmm. I guess not. You know, she she thought I was just living in the moment. So, like, I've been with you for three and a half years, and I'm, I'm you gone after 10 weeks. And yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. And she, she just couldn't, she didn't understand it. Hmm. Yeah. So, ladies, bust a tear for me. That was sad. <laughs> that was sad. Her loss. Yeah, 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 I guess so. It is what it is. What it is? It's, I want to say things like that happen every day because they don't. Do they? What you propose to? to yeah, me? Um, at least every two years. Okay, you. But for a man that wanted to propose to a female and they actually talk about it after that long of time, and she's she actually says like almost no, like yeah, that. Well, I guess she just didn't want to settle down with you. Yeah. Hey. Cause that's I don't know. I would think it's like most females, normally it's the opposite. Most of the time with women, you know, they be dating guys for three, four, five years and they be waiting for the man to propose. Exactly. Like, yo, when you gonna say something? That's what I thought it would be. You know, I'm like, I'm pretty sure she'd been waiting on this. She wanted me to propose and stuff like that. I thought it was gonna be straight, but hey. I guess you were wrong. I was I? Was I wrong? Well, Dang, it, the proposal ended the relationship? Well, her saying that, and then, yeah, I can't. I, <laughs> Dang, the proposal was supposed to make it last forever. Well, I didn't, I didn't get on one knee. We was just talking about it. We was just talking about it, you know? Oh. And I was I was just want to, you know. Oh, see where her head was. Yeah, see where her head was, how she felt about it before I actually went ahead and, and like, bought a ring and did it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So. But me getting stationed somewhere else, far away, I mean, it changed everything. So, uh, how how did it change three years? It's, Don't change three years because but... she wasn't. She got family, and we lived in Atlanta, so she got family in in Atlanta. But you would have been her a, family if you to her husband. She didn't see it like that either. Mm. She didn't see it like that either. She sounds childish. Yep, very childish. Shame on you, lady. Yep. Well, I broke my boy heart. Yeah. It's okay. I know. It's uh, okay. <laughs> I know. It'll be straight. So, all right. Since we on the subject of relationships. So, in this movie, they have went on a trip to save their relationship. Right? Went up to the mountains in the mm-hmm. snow, which is crazy. It's some straight up white people shit to do, <laughs> if you ask me. But, whatever. But, okay. So, in order to say their relationship, they plan the trip in the, uh, in the snow, in the mountains. And my question is, what would uh would you be ready to plan a trip like this in order to save your relationship? Yeah. Well, yeah, like I feel like if I if I feel like we need to go somewhere and you know rekindle, like laugh again. Just get away from work and and stress. I would definitely do it. Like, and I I would probably plan. You know, go somewhere. Um, I'll probably go somewhere where we can have a long time, but still around other people. 
if that makes any sense. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be like, because they were like in a tent. Like, I don't know if I want that much long time. Well, they wanted to focus on each other. You know, rekin- uh, I believe like rekindle a relationship. You don't necessarily have to be around other people. Mm-mm. You See, can be by yourself. It's just the two of you. The best way to rekindle is dinner, gifts, more gifts, dinner, back massages, more gifts. That's how you rekindle something. Damn, you expensive. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you expensive as hell. That's probably why those told proposal never came to marriages. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You expensive. Oh, what this, is this peasant? This this <laughs> ring little. Let me bite this little. ring. So, <laughs> what kind of gold is this? I want a rock, not a pebble. <laughs> Man, come on, bro. For real, you can't be that petty, dog. You can't be that petty. So, you have you ever taken a trip to save a relationship? You tried it? I, well, I yeah yeah kind of. We um we actually we did we. He realized the relationship was going south before I did. You know, I was like, man, this is. This is it. I don't. I don't think I'll enjoy waking up beside this person. But it had got to the point where I was like, "You, I'm about done with this." But I think he realized that beforehand, and we did. We took a trip, um, um, to New Orleans, and we had a great time, and it was fun, and met his family and all that stuff, um, <laughs> for the first time. Yeah, it was the first time. So I guess that was kind of like his way of like. You know, I want you to know that this, I want this to be more than, you know, I want, I want this. So here you go. Here's the family. Like, and then y'all got back and broke up. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it was, it was a little while. It, it was a little bit longer before you officially broke up. But I mean, it did, I think it did refresh your relationship because I did feel like, oh, I went and met his family. So I felt special for a little bit. But then it went back to the nonsense. So it was like, whatever. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just saying. What about you? I don't think I ever took a trip to save my relationship. And that's why your relationship wasn't saved. Yeah. Should have took I, one. I, I guess so. I guess so. I mean, trips don't save relationships. Compromise does. So if y'all, no matter how, well, how nice of a place he or she takes you to and what y'all doing and stuff like that. If y'all still can't compromise on y'all problems and stuff like that, that shit is never going to work. Right? Mm. Trips do save relationships. Nice ones. Expensive ones. Well, it still ain't save yours. No, it did. It postponed it from ending it so soon. It postponed it, but that shit was bound to drizz out. Listen, listen. It would have been better to compromise because the compromise would have been somebody would have been losing. I would have been losing while he happy or he'd have been losing while I'm happy. I ain't got time to compromise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm just saying the piece got to fit. If it don't fit, then I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So I got another question. Mm-hmm. So while y'all out on this trip, right, and y'all around people, Things are going good. And then you got somebody complimenting, like, how your spouse looks. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, oh, he cute. Uh, he cute. Congratulations, girl, and all this stuff like that. Well, uh, as a female, I'll be like, girl, I know. And something else you too. <laughs> Thank you, boo. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my goodness. Well, what about uh, you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, no, because y'all y'all men are territorial. So yeah, we like dogs. Like, you uh, would you would you feel flattered or would you be like, why are you looking at her? I'm like, all right, that was up, bro. I'm, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like you don't, you don't need to be nowhere around here, bro. You already think my girl cute, bro. Get out of here if I have to beat that ass. Mm. Like, what what if he winks at her? Bro, then that's his ass. What if you do two wings? Like one, that, two. That's his ass. At the same time, like <laughs> he, that means he's blinking. But <laughs> that's not a wink. That's a blink. Whatever. Why what? are you blinking at it? Man, I don't, man, come on. All the dudes know. Like if you you cannot comment on how the dude look. I mean, how a female look when she's with another dude. Why not? Like you could look. Is that a rule? Yeah, that's a rule. Who wrote it? Where is that? That's Nicolaitis one on one. Verse one, chapter, <laughs> chapter fifteen. You do not comment on a female when she's with another female. You just don't 
do it. You don't do it. Yeah, I can't. I like really. Come on, man. Come on, really. She with this dude. A mm-hmm. so the dude automatically gonna think you trying to holler at him. Is he or do he think you just you just appreciate nah, like you, the beauty in the room? You trying to holler at him? Yeah, you disrespecting me right in front of my face. Now I gotta beat your ass. Hmm. I mean, that's just how it goes. And then when you fight him and the police take you away, then he go over there and slide his number. Well, she better be coming to get me mm, after she, she calls him, oh, man. And she wasn't worth that much in the first place. Like, hey, boo, I'll, I'll take you to the station. But I'm just saying, like, if I'm with somebody and somebody, somebody, well, if I see somebody with a girl that's cute, I'll look, but I don't touch and don't say nothing because it's disrespectful. So what's the point of looking? Because you see something nice, you can look. Don't touch. Don't but it's, say it belongs to somebody else. Why you want to look at something that belongs to somebody else? Right. Because I got eyes. I see things. I can look, but don't touch. Don't say nothing. That's the rule. Don't touch. Don't say nothing. Because you automatically, especially you say something to her. If you say something to him, that might be a different story. But even not really because it's like, man, you hit before? You hit? You know her? Like, they'll go off. I don't see dudes do that. I don't see dudes fight for less. I don't see dudes fight other dudes just for looking at their girl. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I so mean, that is kind of bold to go to a man's face and be like, "Yeah, she girl cute. look good." Yeah. yeah. So, if you don't want confrontation, like if you ain't about that life, you about to be you about to fight for a girl that look good that you don't even know. Like, bro, leave it alone. Don't even do it unless you know how to fight. And then he he about that life. He's so ready for it. I know how to fight, but I, don't even, I ain't finna fight some random dude on the street for a girl that I don't know. Maybe just like fighting. Maybe just like, like fighting. I mean, I, I like made the other fight. guy. What for saying, man? The other guy just like fighting. I mean, I like to fight. I do it for fun. He he looked you up and down. Was like, I could take him. Hey, your girl look good. Come on, bro. Like, what you gonna do? Huh? I Come said on. it. Hey, hey, miss, miss. A, you look I'm, good tonight. Well, I'm a that ten. body, that body makes your. I mean, that dress, <laughs> that dress make your body look look wonderful. I'm gonna take my right elbow. And I'm going to slit his forehead right wide open. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my my right shin and I'm going to put it across his temple. And um, you you know we are humans, right? What you mean? This is not like a simulation. It's not a simulation, but it's the difference between <laughs> knowing how to fight and street fighting and real fighting. Like Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu, real fighting, and street fighting. And we had this conversation before. I don't know why we got to go into this right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Another episode when we do an action movie, we're going to go to the difference between real fighting and street fighting. I'm going to take my sick leave. Yeah, you better. Do I have sick leave? No. Oh. No. Wait. Anyway. So, have you ever keep somebody's car because remember old girl she oh yeah see, she seen dude that i guess that was messing with him i can't remember because the movie was trash but <laughs> she seen a uh, dude that she didn't she like. saw the car yeah and yeah. she was like that's them yeah and went through and she keyed the car so i have never i have never keyed anyone car okay uh, let's rephrase that have you ever caused damage to somebody's car no have you uh, maybe with that face, I'm guessing yes. Yeah, yeah what was it a male or female though? I could honestly say I never did anything to a female's car. So why do you do it? To I put love notes on females' cars. That's about it. And love notes would shape your key in the heart. No, just love notes and old girlfriends and stuff like that. But that's neither here nor there. That was years ago. But anyway. As far as doing damage to somebody's car, that was probably that I'd done that to people that I seen as untouchable in real life. Like I couldn't literally like put my hands on them <laughs> at the moment in time. You know what I'm saying? It's petty as hell. It's petty as hell. And I kind of regret some of the things I did. So, but I ain't never did it. But however, you I never slash no tires, n- key no car, none no of nothing. that. But I have had my window bust out, and it wasn't even because it. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you a quick snap of how this story happened. All right, somebody so, bust out your windows. My windows. So it was a party, 
And the guy, I had met him before. And at another, you know, I had a party. I used to have a lot of parties. So I had a party. I met the guy before. So at this particular party, the guy came back. However, he came back and he brought a female with him. I mean, just a plus one. He showed to bring a female to plus one, whatever. However, his story is he was the wingman for his friend because his friend girl, that was her friend. So he was just playing the wingman. Mm -hmm. So he was still trying to talk to me or whatever the case may be at this party. So, but the thing was crazy because everybody was still chilling and vibing or whatever. But I guess, you know, as people get drunk, they start doing extra stuff. Anyway, long story short, there's a fight. Mm. Over I'm, you. And I'm not fighting anybody. No, the girl, she gets in a fight with another female at the party. And, but my windows get busted out of my car. And I'm like, okay, there's two white cars. There's a big freaking difference from a white Prius a white matter of fact, it didn't happen the same night. It didn't happen the same night. She came back like a couple nights later and bust the windows out of my little white Prius. She probably thought that was the person's house. It was at your house. Uh huh. So she probably she probably that. did. But that's yeah. that's you, you need to know that kind of stuff. Like, honey, really? That made me mad. Okay, so you got your window busted out by somebody that didn't know it was actually by default, man. But uh, by by mistaken identity. Guilty by association. Mm. Ugh. Man. Damn. You? You had any crazy ex? Yeah. I had a brick thrown through my <laughs> through my window. That was way back in the day. That was in high school. That's why I knew I was I was bad, bro. <laughs> but uh, after that, I don't think I ever had any, anybody mess up my my stuff like that. Mm. No, nah, never really happened. Well, we're not gonna talk about those legal things that I have done, so we're gonna continue. So, okay, so there's one part of the movie, right, where he falls into the lake through a hole and stuff like that, and the girl, his wife, goes reaching for him. Which I wouldn't have done, but keep going. Well, that was the question. Would you reach in the freezing water mm -mm, for your spouse? Nah, bro. It is already cold. I am tired. I am with child. What? You chose to fall into this hole. I'm not looking for you. Take a hit, fellas. She ain't doing nothing for you. No, no, no. She'll let you die. It, it's not that. Look, she kept saving this man, bro. Save and and at the end, it caught it cost her life. Like I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time yeah, for it. But I mean, he need to take responsibility on stuff. You want to walk on ice and fall in it? She walked on the same ice. Okay, but she, she didn't fall. Fell but she didn't fall. That's cold blooded, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, uh I'm tired. Of, I was tired of him. He kept getting on my nerves. But you, if that happened to you, you expect him to save you? Yes. But you can't save him. She been saving him this entire movie. Don't, don't matter. She been saving him this entire movie. That's your spouse. He was so weak. So weak. Okay. Next subject is is what you just said. Weak men. Weak yes. Men. How you feel about that? How you he feel about he weak was men? mentally weak, man. Because I think he was physically weak, too. Well, yeah, that too. But I'm like, even even down to the whole core of this whole movie was him hitting the little boy. Like him running over that kid and like, okay, let, let's just let's just drive and think about it. Mm. Oh, let's just let's put that phone down. Let's not call nobody. Mm. Like, he didn't even get out in the car, you know what I mean? Yeah, he wanted to face all the responsibilities of anything that he had done. She Until the very end when they was about to shoot him and she came back and tried to save him. If uh, I said nah, he was he was mentally. I can't I can't be with nobody weak like that, bro. Can't well, do it. First of all, you shouldn't be going out. If me and my significant other going out somewhere in the woods in the cold or something like that, in the woods, just period. I'm not going out there without a gun. There are bears. <laughs> there are lions. There, depending on where you at, you know, there are animals out here or people that try to kill you. How you go out there without a gun? Well, he had a little friendly dog. And you seen what they did with his dog? That is true. Chopped their head off and laid on his bed. That bro. Is true. Like, come on. Like, to me, that's that's being a little bit less of a man right there. You know? That is true. If you're going to take your woman out in the middle of nowhere, you need you to have got something to protect her. Yeah, you ain't got nothing to protect her. And the knife only goes so far. So, yeah, you need a gun. You need to protect her and yourself. Y'all need to make it out of there. So, no matter what comes after you, whether it's an animal or a human, y'all need to make it out of there. Even, you know what I'm saying? And even at night, think about it, even at the end, like when he had freed her or whatever, he could have picked up the gun and shot the the guy. And yes. that'd have been it. That'd have been it. 
But it's like, ah, man, he was too weak. I can't. He was very weak, I can't. if you ask me. I can't do it. Very weak. All right. Since it's going to be a short episode, this is the last question right here. So what would you do if somebody hurt your child? Because, you know, that would it all boil, boil down to. The, mm-hmm. It wasn't the dad that shot the, the the female. It was the mom of the kid that they hit that shot the female. Mm-hmm. So both of them was out there getting revenge. They were stalking them. They had pictures and all that stuff like that. All because they did a hit and run on their child. So how well, far would you go? It depends on what type of revenge you want. Because, you know, if you let the justice system do revenge for you, you know how that's going to end up. They go to jail, depending on your state. They may or may not get the death penalty. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, they're going to be in jail. So if you feel like revenge need to be an eye for an eye, like we doing some old time, you know, uh, Old Testament stuff. If oh. that's what you feel like justice is, then... You have no choice but to go do it. You're, you know, take matters into your own hand. Well, he tried to report it and they wouldn't like. Well, no, because he, no, because he asked him, he like, do you have any information? He was like, no. Oh, he said no. Yeah, he right, told him no. Right. He, he didn't have any information because he wanted to get it for his. That's what I'm anyway. saying. Because if it, if it's an accident, then really, this, you know, your son' life is over. However, this man, he may or may not go to jail. Who knows? He might not even go to jail. All right. Is it is it worth it? Throwing your whole because right at that point you gotta sit there and think you finna throw the rest of your life away and focus on nothing other than getting revenge to uh, against this other person. And then you gotta think, do you have the money to do it? Because revenge is not cheap. Because you gotta go full fledged. That's a full time job. It was because he moved he, like the dude moved, moved next door. And next down. door. Like, and he started, that was he a commitment. Him. Yeah, you you know. So that was a full on commitment. So. Is re- revenge really worth it? Or it depends on how much you love that person and who it is, you know. But we say it's child, so it's I don't know, uh, bro. A lot of factors. Yeah, it's a lot and of And it's factors, like what but, part what part of you in your life? They were older. So at that point, if they would have died or if they go to jail, they had nothing to lose. That's what I'm saying. Like if you still young, do you really want to spend the next 40, 50 years in jail? Yeah. Because your child's still gone. Well, I mean, and like you said, the justice system, if, if they don't, even if they don't get the right amount of time that you felt like is justified, because anytime somebody, somebody hurts your family and they die, right? And they end up going to jail. If they don't get life in prison, you're going to feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they get anything less than life in prison, you're going to feel some type of way. If they don't get life in prison or the death penalty. You're going to feel some type of way about it. And when you probably, you might be plotting when they get out, you finna kill every, all, every last one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it depends, I guess. So, listen, blessing, curse. It was a lesson. Don't date, what were they, sweetest? Whatever they were, don't date those kind of men, bro. I don't know. Don't date them. Don't date. I can't do it. I say don't watch foreign movies. <laughs> this, this movie <laughs> tripped me out, bro. Like... <laughs> The words didn't match up with the subtitles, and man, that's translation. The, the, that's how that goes. The words they were saying didn't match up with their lips and all this stuff like that, bro. Like, come on, man, you in these foreign movies? But I love them. <sighs> yeah, but it still was trash. <laughs> it still was trash. But yep. Yeah, so y'all make sure y'all tune in. Next week, we're going to have some more movies for y'all. Maybe some bonus content. Maybe this is a bonus content episode. You never know unless you listen. So tune in next week. We got more of this wonderful movie club podcast for you. Uh, Twinkleberry.com. Go comment, subscribe, like us on Instagram, Facebook. We on YouTube now. Check out the website, Twinkleberry.com. Twinkleberry. Movie Club on IG and Facebook, DJ T W I N T W O on Instagram. That's your boy. So, yeah, I think that's it. We'll catch y'all next week. All right. Bye, guys. Later.